Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you the use of min x function. So the min x function is useful in scenario like those where you want to find the minimum value based on a given expression right. So for example if you remember from one of our previous videos what we uh, created a new measure is the gross average sales which is nothing but the uh, sales plus profit and finding an average of that for from each of the sales value that we have so for example if I just show you over here see the gross average sales is nothing but from the orders table we are taking we are doing a sum of these two for each of the orders and then averaging it out based on the sub product subcategory that is present right so similarly if we want to figure it out the minimum value of from these uh, gross average sales value for a given category like what is a minimum value minimum order value for appliances or computer peripherals or office machines then in those scenarios the min x function can be very useful so to do that what i will going to do is select the table um, create a new measure which will be your minimum cross sale and I will say min x as you can see we need to specify the table which is orders and from here we specify the expression and our expression is simple sales so this plus profit over here and that should be it right so what it will going to identify is the minimum orders from these two categories right so we'll just close this or click ok and over here we have our minimum gross sales so first I will going to select the table and then add the minimum gross cell over here so based on that expression what we saw is that one of the sales within this appliances is actually minus 1961 which is quite a big sale. Similarly you see in most of the other categories you have minimum values represented as the lowest value that min x function could identify based on this. So if this is one of your requirements where you want to identify the minimum value for the given categories based on the expression like we specified a simple expression but you can specify as complex as you want because min x function allows you to do specify the expression which is valid as per the DEX guidelines. So that's mainly I wanted to show you about how you can find the minimum value based on the min x function configure it and utilize it in your table or in your visualization. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.